खत्म हुई है कि नहीं हुई ओके नाउ कमिंग बैक टू द सेम स्लाइड ट्वेंटी सेवन सो एज आई सेड अर्लियर आई विल टॉक अबाउट दिस इन डिटेल दिस ए टी एच एंड ए एच एस इट इज ऑल्सो लिटल रेलिवेंट टू द डिटेलिंग i copied this slide from again aci 25.4.3.3 actually explains this application of ath and ahs so it was mentioned here that ath is greater than or at least equal to 0.4 ahs first briefly it is mentioned in red color here ath total cross sectional area of ties or stirrups confining hooked bars and ahs is total cross sectional area of hooked bars being developed at the critical section so let me show you first pictures picture on slide number 29 and slide number 30 these two pictures will help us to understand this ath and ahs if we are saying ath is total cross sectional area of ties or stirrups confining the hooked bars it means we need to calculate the area of all bars which are confining the hook bars area of ties or stirrups in this case these are the ties which are confining the tail of the hook bars and in this picture these ties are confining the straight portion of the hook bars it means we are actually trying to develop a good quality of confinement a good magnitude of confinement around the bars which are in the zone of development because confinement will improve our bond strength as it can it will prevent splitting up of the covers we have seen that splitting failures will be delayed and the confinement will play its role confinement will also improve the fc prime of concrete in the core so it is the total cross sectional area of ties or stirrups confining hook bars ath shall consist of a or b again they are per giving you permission that calculate it through a or b they are not asking you greater than smaller than smaller or if it is greater or smaller then there must be and in between now it is stated or so you can use either a or b so first what is a ties or stirrups that enclose the hook and satisfy 25.3.2 uh, this 25.3.2 is given on the next slides so i will discuss this uh, class but at the moment we can mechanically calculate that how many ties their area or stirrups that are enclosing the hook and that hook is satisfying this 25.3.2 it is actually again the standard hook requirement which i will explain on the next slides first thing is that you need to mechanically calculate the confinement 
in b actually they are further elaborating that how this area will be calculated and how much up to how much length ties or stirrups area will be estimated so it is quite useful because pictures are also available with reference to b part other reinforcement in closing the hook what is b other reinforcement in closing the hook that extends at least 75% of the ldh from the enclosed hook in the direction of bar in tension and is in accordance with one or two and one or two is given under neat so first let's uh, see these pictures it is it is stated that if the bar is in tension the tension direction is this one so it is stated that what is the ties presence this ties are normal to the tail of the hook and up to 15 db which is from center of the bar to the terminal of the hook these ties are uniformly spaced and their spacing is not greater than eight times the dia of bar which is under investigation it is not a dia of tie it is a dia of bar and up to 75% of the hooked length of the bar they are spanning the ties they are having the span not less than 75% of the ldh so the confining reinforcement placed parallel to the bar because they are parallel to the bar being developed that contributes to anchorage strength of both 90 and 180 degree hooked bars so in the same picture they are also explaining the not only the 90 degree but also the 180 degree hooked bars so this is the first sketch which i will refer to when i will discuss the paragraph on slide number 28 and the second picture which i will again refer to it is again the confining reinforcement placed per perpendicular to the bar being developed spaced along the development length ldh that contributes to anchorage strength of 90 and 180 degree hook bars so again the noticeable part is that die of the bar and tension applied is like this ldh and not less than 70 within 75% of ldh ties are spaced and ties are not wider than 8 times the dia of bar if this kind of confinement is present either normal to the bar being developed or parallel to the bar being developed now keep these pictures in mind and let me read this this slide again other reinforcement in closing the hook that extends at least 75% of ldh from the enclosed hook in the direction of bar in tension and is in accordance with one or two for members with confining reinforcement that is both parallel and perpendicular to ldh it shall be permitted to use the 
ATH based on one or two that results in lower value of LDH. So it means these factors are actually giving you a benefit that you can reduce the LDH because if these factors are fulfilled, this kind of confinement is present for number 36 or smaller bars, you will keep the hooked bar development length unenhanced and you will take it as one. But if this confinement is not present, you need to then give a big jump to the LD and you need to multiply that hooked bar LD with 1.6. So what is first? It is stated two or more ties or stirrups shall be provided parallel to the LDH enclosing the hook evenly spaced with center to center spacing not exceeding 8B and within 15 dB of the center line of the straight portion of the hooked bars where dB is the nominal diameter of the hooked bars. Now all this paragraph is described through this picture. First is they are saying two or more ties. So if I take 180 degree band there are two ties which are present within that 180 degree band. And if I am talking about the 90 degree band, in this picture it is shown 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ties. And they are within 50 dB straight portion. And they are not spaced wider than 8 times die of the bar. And they are extending, spanning up to not less than 75% of LDH. Ijaz, my class view, I will join you at 12, right? Okay. So in this way, uh, if you will consult that picture, all these lines will become clear to you that two or more ties. Interestingly, in that picture, we have for 180 degree band, we have two ties. And for 90 degree band, if the 90 degree band is there, we have actually four, uh, how much ties? One, two, three, five ties. So they are saying two or more ties shall be, pro shall be provided, right? If they are provided, it shall be parallel to LDH, they are parallel, enclosing the hooks, evenly distributed, center to center, not exceeding 8 dB. So everything is fulfilled in that picture. Second is two or more, again, two or more ties shall be provided perpendicular to LDH, enclosing the hook bars and evenly distributed along LDH center to center spacing not exceeding 8 dB. So everything is picturized here that two or more ties. Look at the 180 degree band. Two ties are fulfilling that requirement. But furthermore, for one for 90 degree band, we have five ties which are accumulated in this picture within 75% of LDS. If this kind of detailing is present along the zone of development of hooked bar, then you are allowed to take them as ATH you will count them for example just for sake of example i ask i tell you that there were actually two ties exactly two ties it means what will be the area it, there were two leg ties and there are two ties and leg are only two 
So it means again 71 into 4 because one tie has two legs and they are spaced within the hook or within the 190 degree band only two ties. So 2 into 71 into 2 because each bar has two legs and there are two ties. It will be ATH. Then if it is greater than or at least equal to 40% of AHS. And what was AHS? AHS is the total cross-sectional area of hooked bars. Suppose your total cross-sectional area of hook bar is 5-10 millimeter scale. One hook bar actually number 25 has the area 5-10 millimeter scale. And suppose there are two bars. So it means 510 into 2. So what I will do 510 into 2, there are two hook bars and multiply them with 0.4 right hand side and left hand side as I said two ties and each tie has leg 2 and it is actually 4 into 71. So can you calculate that I have two ties and two ties, each tie has actually the two legs, this leg and this leg and this leg and this leg. So 4 into 71, how much it will be? And right hand side 510, 2 into 0.4, how much? Answer is whether the left hand side is greater than the right hand side please sir yes sir ye two ties uh, case chahiye sir wo diagram se thoda bata denge sir right so look at the picture i am just uh, selecting it on the conservative side that i am assuming that for hook 180 degree bend i am just assuming that i am doing this calculation for this 180 degree bend and in this picture Strictly speaking, I, I can see that only two ties are present and these are not actually uh, taking their role in the 180 degree bend. So only two of them are contributing in this uh, confinement or in this picture. Again, as there are two ties which are ending up within the 180 degree bend and these ties are not actually enveloping the, in this way I am assuming that how much is the area and they are two legged because it is just the plane diagram so you can have the two legs which are going down like this so in this way we are calculating that okay sir thank you so what what is the answer please let me know. 284 g left hand side uh, se Left hand, hand side is 284 or Dusri sir, uh, 408. So it means uh, it is not exceeding. Left hand side is not greater than yes, or sir. at least equal. So in, in this way, we can't avail this uh, factor 1. But there is or in between. If the second is fulfilled, that's the spacing between the hook bar is at least 6 dB then still we have the offer of 1. But if both are not fulfilled, then we should go for 1.6. So this is quite important because normally in hook bars, we want to develop them early within the column joint. If we are getting a big demand and we are unable to develop them within the joint, then we will be in trouble because we want to get them yield at the face of the support. So this is the brief uh, review of this article so let me stop here and i will upload this recording tonight inshallah and we will have now one hour more lecture in next